into it, you know, of course. But we're, we're going to go around the stadium and check out the new to it. The game turn. is ridiculous. I had never heard Ford Field that loud. And the go amount of drama you line. had, the fourth then and the next one. 18, Turn left. you know, and then the field goal. I mean, a record-setting field goal. I just, I didn't think I was getting into that when we decided to go down there. I thought, well, we might even, you know, check out here early or something like that. You would just hope that the Lions would play decent, you know, but we weren't really going to, like, experience a game like line. that. At the line, turn left awesome. onto Lasser Road. That game is such a great indoctrination into what it's like to be a Lions fan. Like, oh, and I if you could have wrote down, hey, you have to teach someone what it's like to be a Lions fan, I think you show them that game. That's what happened. Yes. With my son, I, I swear to God, I, 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 like, he's probably scarred for life. Connor got baptized <laughs> correctly. He got baptized correctly. <laughs> Who's been baptized that way? I mean, honestly, what, what Lions games would you have had to attend to be baptized in the SOL like that? I mean, well, it would I, seriously be the, the Sterling Sharp. Yeah. Right. The Aaron Rodgers Hail Marys. We can hail over the Packers. I don't know um, if that game, though. I think it's right up there. Yeah, I think it's I equal footing. I mean, it's a dagger at the very end to break your heart in a game that you thought you were actually going to win something. Like, beating the, the Ravens would have been noteworthy early in Dan Campbell's tenure. The Golden Tate game where you thought you won. Ten second runoff. <laughs> Ten second Yeah, runoff. and that's one where you're sitting in the stands. You don't necessarily maybe know what's going miles. on. The right. destination is on your right. Think, uh, 19966 Lawson Road. <laughs> it's a taxi. It's not supposed to turn into right. this topic, okay? So <laughs> no, I know. It's not it's the just topic. Just no. Yeah, just random games that you went to and some There's some great happened. hockey ones. I mean, obviously, I actually thought about this, Jim, and I couldn't. You put a great way on, on phrasing what happened Saturday night with the Wings. Because you're just going, you know, oh, original six. This is cool. You see Toronto and. And then you're like, they're, they're booed off the ice. And then all of a sudden, all heck breaks loose. I mean, think about that. A 10-7 to 7 hockey game. Put, yeah, it this, put it this way. You had the Red Wings score five third-period goals, and at no point did they tie or take the lead. Like, baffling that that happens in a hockey game. If you score five goals in a period, you'd think, well, you would at some point take the lead. But they didn't at any point during that third period. You had eight goals scored. And I think what was so bizarre, it's 5-1, it's 7-2. I'm sure some people left the game going, I got better things to do with my Saturday night. If you were there in the third period, you had all these really cheap goals, Valeno scores from the gondola. All of a sudden, it's it's a one-goal game. It's 7-6, to six, plenty of time left in the third period. Out of nowhere, this random nothing in game one turned mile, into one that the you're going to remember for a very right. long time. Let's go to Ron six, and Clinton Township. Ron, you're on 97.1. Hey, boys. Um, so, I was at the game, and I was just talking to my girlfriend, and I was like, we're in the first period. I'm like, we're sitting up in the nosebleed suits, and I'm like, I feel like I can yell down, and they can hear me on the ice. It was so quiet. And then... The beginning of the third period, I'm at the concession stand in the first goal half, and I'm running back to the seat. Well, all of a sudden, we get up, I get up there, and, like, bing, bing, two more, another one, and the play sounded like yokes all of a sudden. It went from, and it wasn't full, but it went from, uh, like, you could throw a quarter, and it would hit the, the screen or whatever, and people would hear it, to absolutely crazy. It was nuts. It was a lot of fun, man. It was a good game to go to. Well, I'm sure. Saturday night fun. against Toronto's Saturday night against Toronto's always a good time. You got a lot of Leaf fan there. What was interesting, I didn't watch the game obviously because I'm in Florida, but following it a little bit uh, on on the old uh, phone or whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like none of the wings stole. Uh, Raymond might have got a goal, but none of the stars stepped up either. There were goals, like you mentioned, Valeno and when Rasmussen had a goal. Rone. It wasn't like yeah. 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 Oh, but it was a lot of, uh, they were, because they got down so, so much so fast that they were just forcing things, that's, hence the breakaway goals. Like, I'm, I'm a huge Mo Sider fan. The destination is on Mo your Sider right. Was like 19966 Lasser Road. And just trying to get something going. They're down five Arrived. by going into the third. It's like, they were just doing anything they could. So it became exciting, even though it was just weird.